watching News to the Bronx on this Saturday morning. I'm Linnea Batiste, where as local as local news gets. We begin with 12 on crime. A man from our borough lucky to be alive after getting shot during a chain snatching robbery. Police say last Sunday this man approached the 31 year old victim in a parking lot at the Mitchell houses on East 138th Street. The suspect allegedly took out a gun, pulled the man's gold chain from his neck and then shot him in the right thigh before running off. The victim managed to walk to a near by hospital where he was treated and released. These are photos of the suspect hours before the incident at Olivia's nightclub on the 1800 block of Westchester Avenue. If you recognize him, call police. And police are investigating an overnight shooting in Belmont that left a teen hurt. It happened just after 3.30 in the morning on East 182nd Street near Hughes Avenue. Police telling us the 17 year old victim was hit once in the torso and he's expected to be okay. And the Parkchester community still in shock over a robbery that took place in Parkchester. The incident left a man seriously injured and now police have more information. Authorities released this surveillance footage of the robbery that happened May 26. People who live nearby say they now fear for their safety. That's scary. That's scary because I believe that you can do that to just anybody, not just him based on his age. I believe that if that guy attacked him, he could do it to anyone. On the anger, uh, God knows what was going through his mind at the time. He can react just like that towards anyone at any given time. And I want to be safe. So if you know anything that can help police in either of these cases mentioned, call Crime Stoppers 1-800-577-TIPS. Remember, all calls are kept confidential. Time now for a weather on the twos from meteorologist Bruce Avery. Thanks, Linnea. Here's your latest weekend forecast, and it's not going to be a wonderful weekend, but it's not going to be a washout weekend either. It is starting off very muggy with some fog around and temperatures well above normal for this time of the year in the upper 60s and low 70s on their way to the 80s in many spots. And there will be showers and storms this afternoon. The first round of showers seems to have dried up over the northeast, but down here in the south and west there are more showers and some more will kick up as the day goes along. There, you do need sunblock if you're going to the waters or even walking around because it's hazy cloudiness, even though we're calling it mostly cloudy. And look at these temperatures, 82 in Parkchester, 81 in Norwood, well above normal for this time of the year. And later in the day, afternoon showers and storms, not everywhere we'll see one. And then tonight, there'll be showers early and then overnight clearing and turning much cooler. Winds out of the east, 5 to 10 miles an hour, 60 for a low in City Island, 61 in Riverdale. So Sunday will be the drier of the two weekend days. And look at the difference, lots of sunshine and high temperatures which is only around 70 degrees. Light rain to moderate rain on Monday and much cooler. On Tuesday, late day showers, early showers on Wednesday, still cool, and then the end of the week looks nice. All right, thank you, Bruce, for that. Well, a missing person now to tell you about from our borough. Police say Earl Allen was last seen leaving his home on the 500 block of Castle Hill Avenue back on March 20th. He's 30 years old, 5 foot 10, 320 pounds with black hair. He may be wearing a blue shirt, blue sweatpants and a blue and gray jacket. So if you see him, call police. Bronxites demanding justice for a National Guardsman who claims an NYPD officer used a stun gun on him during a traffic stop. Supporters of Calvin Moreland rallying in front of the 46th precinct Friday. Moreland says he was driving down a two-way street two weeks ago when a police car came racing behind him. He tells us he didn't immediately move over because of the narrow street. Officers then allegedly stopped and then zapped him with a stun gun. Moreland says their actions were not not justified. So we reached out to the NYPD for comment and are waiting for a response. Save our streets holding another rally calling an end for gun violence steps away from where Cheyenne Carter was shot dead in front of the Patterson houses. Carter was gunned down last Friday night. Those at the rally say enough is enough and they want change and positive behavior in Mott Haven. Police are looking for two men who they say left the scene of the shooting and asking for anyone with information to come forward. If you're heading out this weekend around the borough, there are a few road closures you need to know about. News to the Bronx reporter Christine Russo has your weekend traffic advisory. Hey everyone, I'm Christine Russo with a look at your weekend traffic advisory. We have one lane closed on the Unionport Bridge. This is the westbound side as you approach Zurbiga Avenue. That's going to be going on through August of this year. Heading on up to the Major Deegan Expressway here, we have the northbound entrance ramp closed near West Fordham Road in the Bedford Park area of the Bronx, and that's going to be Saturday and Sunday, 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. 
Heading on a little bit further now, we have uh, this road closed, subject to closure here, East Gun Hill Road near Eli Avenue. That's due to some DOT paving that's going on in the area. And then more DOT paving happening here on Gunther Avenue between uh, by East Gun Hill Road, again, subject to closure. I'm Christine Russo, and that's a look at your weekend traffic advisory. Well, 12 is on Health Now New York City is now the most expensive place in the nation to buy a pack of smokes. Today, the minimum price for a pack of cigarettes in the Big Apple is $13. Wow. The health department officials hope the price hike will encourage more people to kick the habit. Current numbers show 850,000 New York adults continue to smoke. New information about the romaine lettuce E. coli outbreak. Four more deaths have been linked to the lettuce grown in Arizona, bringing the total now to five. The state's growing season is long over, so it's unlikely any tainted lettuce is still in stores, but illnesses are still being reported. Health officials say 25 more cases raised the total to 197 across 35 states. At least 89 people have been hospitalized in total. Bronxites have a new place to shop in our borough. The Cherry Valley Marketplace is now open in Williamsbridge. The 17,500-square-foot 17, supermarket includes dedicated sushi, juice, and pizza stations. They all offer a 10% discount to seniors, all to make healthy food choices more accessible. Customers say a space like this has been long overdue. It'll make it convenient. It'll just make everything a lot better as a father of nine. I, you know, I, I know my wife and I will definitely be shopping here a lot more and bringing money into my own community. He's a father of nine. That's a blessing. <laughs> well, the store located on East Gun Hill Road will be open 24 hours a day. Good for that community. Well, a dance team from our borough is stomping out the competition and taking a stand against bullying all at the same time. The Live Dance Love Dance team from PS19 of Woodlawn is competing in the NYC Department of Youth and Community Development's Step It Up Showcase, which uses the performing arts as a way to build leadership. Nearly 100 teams and more than 1,000 kids entered the showcase, and Live Dance Love Dance is one of 10 teams that have made it to the finals. They use the, they're using this opportunity to speak out against cultural bullying. We perform and hand out posters and pamphlets, but not only to our audience from our performing shows at the schools that we go to, but it's also we do around our practice area. People can bully and not even notice that they're bullying. So we just want to make them aware just to be nice and treat them as they want to be treated. Well, the team competes Saturday at the BAM Theater in Brooklyn. 30 years after its premiere on MTV, Yo! MTV Raps is back in action. Fans coming together to celebrate the show's anniversary at the Barclays Center. Yo! MTV Raps was known for highlighting some of hip-hop's biggest acts in the 80s and 90s. Music legends including Big Daddy Kane, Dougie Fresh, and Fat Joe all hit the stage. Yeah, man, they had me on there back in 88 and 89, so I'm here to just pay homage and just watch the show and enjoy the show, man, because it's like I'm a, I'm a fan of the show even though I was on the show, but still a fan of the show because MTV Raps is history. Man. I agree with him. It is music history. Well, the event also featured special tribute videos from Eminem, Method Man, and more. Seems like a good time. I'm Linnea Batiste. This is News All the Bronx, or as local as local news gets. Still ahead, the summit is back on between the U.S. and North Korea. What made it a done deal? Plus, coming up in your consumer alert, we tell you how you can hack away at your prescription drug prices. Stay with us. Woodlawn. You're watching News 12 The Bronx, as local as local news gets.